Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today we are checking out Witchcraft Survivors. As you can see, it is another um, in the series of titles that have come out recently uh, following the huge success of Vampire Survivors. Um, it is a bullet hell game uh, where you have a character that has power-ups and upgrades and tries to survive. So, not gonna go further into detail, let's just check it out and see what it's up. All right, so we have Magnus the Fiery. Okay, we have Morgus the Dark. We have Mala the Icy, Molog the Stone, Marlog the Dead, and Morgos the Ultimate. Um, so Morgos the Ultimate apparently is a character you unlock by getting everything. So we just have to start with our boy Magnus. Um, we can increase the difficulty, which increases bonus uh, gold and strength. Um, I believe we should just do the maybe one step up. Yeah, let's try one step up. See how it is. All right, so the firing is automated. There we go. I don't know if this doesn't do anything, right? Oh, it does. Okay. Okay. So we got to collect the, the XP in order to upgrade. Hmm. Well, they have a lot of health. I can tell you that much. Oh, we got a big boy. Alright. Axe that flies in a random direction and slices enemies in the way. Curious protects the wearer from damage. Raises the collection radius of the hero. Um, I think right now we're just gonna need... Gonna need some... Some additional damage for sure. And then... I'm assuming... Ooh, there we go. That's good, actually. A swarm. That's not good. Oh, wait. We should... Ah, whatever. We probably should look out for the swarms in order to... Get some additional XP. Um, Firehand. The big hand spawns uh, knocks on the ground and causes explosions. Napalm explodes and spreads fire that lingers on the ground for a while. Um, health generation. Let's do Napalm. I believe we just got a got a good amount of damage for now. Uh, boost gold gain. Small explosions occur randomly the, uh, around the player's location. Increase the walking speed. Hmm. I just focus on damage right now because in the early on, I think we can afford to just go damage. Okay. Uh, fire beam spawns a hot beam of fire that burns everything in front of the player. Magma geyser, spontaneous eruption of magma from the ground beneath an enemy, decreases cooldown of attacks. Hmm. Let's do. Actually, scroll of haste might be good. Hmm. Let's do scroll of haste right now, and then I'm sure we'll find something else. Increase critical chance. Lava that spawns underneath the player and stays for a while. Fire spawns on random enemies and lingers for a while. Hmm. Let's do the lava puddle. It also seems like um, there is a good amount of each hero has his own like set of abilities, and I wonder if there's any any like mix-ups you can do later on. Um, lava drops from the sky and splashes to the ground. Meteors fall from the sky and explode when they touch the ground. I believe we're just gonna go offense is the best defense route right now. See how long we can survive. Get around a bit. Oh, enemies can actually drop health, which is nice. Okay, so we can upgrade already. Fire spawns and random enemies in the ring is for a while. Lava drops on the sky. Fire spawn. Yeah, so I wonder if there is actually a a way. Oh, got a big sack of gold. Oh, what is this? Ooh, wipe everything on screen. Nice. Um, increases rarity and drop of loot. 
big hand. I just keep going damage. Let's see what the hand does. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool, actually. It can just be a, a menace of a warlock. Sword of Power increases attack power of attacks by 15%. Armor, Lava Drop. Let's just take all the destruction spells. Let's see where it goes. Oh, there's a swarm. Yeah, so you definitely want to watch out for swarms in order to get some extra XP. What else we got? Okay. Fire flower, a hot flower that spawns randomly and then rotates uh, while moving vertically. Hmm. All, right. All the power ups. They actually have an insane amount of damage right now. Oh, there's the flower. Okay. So with health items dropping, I wonder how efficient it is to p to get like the. the the health regeneration thing. Um, fire explosions upgrade increase area of effect. Ooh, this is actually good. We have yeah, so it increases all the spells. Yeah, that's cool. that's a big big upgrade. This is a huge upgrade. Holy. Oh boy, this is not good. No. They got us. Alright, well. I wonder how, how do you handle that? Icy boys, check it out. I wonder maybe you take the upgrades early on. Maybe it's like a significant damage upgrade. I don't know. All right, magma gazer, fire boomerang. I don't know if it will go in the direction that I... Ah, okay. So the direction is random. Hmm. Oh, the boomerang constantly flies? That's kind of broken. Okay. Upgrade spawns one more boomerang. That seems busted, actually. Holy. Okay. Talisman of Suffering. Increase crit damage of critical attacks. Add 50% crit damage. Okay. What's my crit at? Critical chance 2%? Yeah, that's not... I don't think that's great. Um, fire explosions or lava drops? Lava drops would be good here. These boomerangs are pretty strong, actually. Okay, uh, we go Meteor. Uh, Holy Grail grants an additional revival upon death with 50% of your max health. Oh, that's busted. Grants one additional projectile to the attacks. Ooh, this is a big one. It's gonna do Amulet of. Because this this spawns an, an additional fireball too, which is crazy, and it stacks with my boomerangs, I believe. So that's great. Okay. Uh, fire boomerang upgrade adds fifty percent more damage and twenty percent bigger area of. Ooh. Let's go boomerang upgrades early on. Uh, 
Uh, book of Knowledge raises XP gain. I feel like we can afford to get a Book of Knowledge here. Try to upgrade faster. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. We survived that one. Barely. So now I need more direct attacks. Book of Knowledge, increased rarity. I feel like we can survive a little bit longer. Oh boy. Um. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, that's a good swipe. Magma Geyser. Let's do area of effect. I'll make our boomerangs much bigger. Oh, fire flower. I feel like we can take this now because we have a bigger effect. It will actually be a, a pretty significant amount of damage. And we have two of them. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh. okay. Upgrades adds one more fireball and 50% more damage. That's actually really good. Fireball's huge. A blood altar spawn. Got some health over here. Nice. Um, boomerangs upgrade adds 60% more damage, 10% more. Yeah. Yeah, now this is what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. Okay. Let, well, let's see if we can survive this. Um... Small fire explosions around me. Oh god. Come on, I need one opening. Just one. Please! <gasps> there we go. I think we did it. Fire rotates around the player and burns close, close enemies. Yes! Nice, we did it. There we go. Oh, it, it's not constant. Okay. That's actually pretty, pretty often, though. Nice. Alright. We can get rama, uh, lava puddles. Crit damage. Crit chance. I think we could... Use some crit chance. And then later on we can get Yeah, I don't know I don't know how I feel about the uh, the food dropping from enemies. It seems a little bit too strong, to be honest. What is up with my hair? <laughs> I just noticed that. Um Upgrade adds one more lava drop and forty percent more damage. Upgrade adds one more Ooh, is this gonna make me have four flowers? No, it's three. Okay. Yeah, we're looking pretty good now. This seems like a much better build. A pack of wolf is in, wolves is coming. Nah, I think we're good. Okay. We're actually doing a, a good amount of damage. Okay. We can get a Magma Geyser. Fire spawns on random enemies and lingers for a while. Hmm. Let's do the fire. Alright. Oh. There we go. Oh boy, okay. I think we're safe to take a Holy Grail here, even though it feels like cheating. I just want to see how far we can push it. 
I mean, probably there's some limitation due to the fact you gotta spend gold on upgrades, so... Or maybe it's... Maybe I'm not 100% sure. We will check before we end this, but the, the gold might be only for... Uh, what do you call them? It might only be for... To unlock the new characters. I could be wrong, though, for sure. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, we're dead. Well. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, we survived, actually. Yeah. That's good that we took the Holy Grail there. Okay. We can get... Damage reduction. Hmm. Let's get some damage reduction here. Jesus. Oh, these guys are running fast now. Shoot. Okay. Oh boy, we're getting... We're cooking with gas now. Oh, there's a bunch of XP here, which is nice. Okay. Let's get this stuff. Okay, I get more XP or one more ball and 100% damage. No, I think this is instant pickup. Okay. We just gotta keep going in circles now. Try to upgrade a little more. So we need to survive 13 more minutes to, I guess, beat this map, I'm assuming. Which I think is doable. There's a big wolf. There's a couple of big wolves. Okay. Don't like that. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Napalm, I think, is a good pickup here. Because it will be huge, I believe. Yeah. Nice. We beat the big wolves. Beautiful. Oh, boy. Okay. I kind of want to get the upgrade for the shield thing. Because the only thing that's, that, I, that I can kind of control, everything else is, like, flying at random. Fireball. Upgrade one more foul fireball. Fire flower? No. Let's do. Let, let's max out fireball here. I believe it's pretty good. It's a huge amount of damage. That was an interesting pattern. You don't see that often. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Well. I just need to stay here and try to get these. This path open. Well, we tried. <laughs> um, how much gold do we have? 700? Oh, we can unlock the Morgus. Okay. We can unlock her. Not enough gold. Oh, this guy was 800. All right, crit chance 3, critical damage 86. Luck boost. Upgrades. Oh. Spend your character's XP. Oh. Unlock the nuclear bomb as the fifth upgrade to the tactical nuke. Also provides a 20% damage boost for his character and 5% to all other characters. Ooh. How do we take this, though? This is the character-specific upgrade screen? Put at least one point in pre uh, preceding upgrades. Oh, this is at the end. Okay. So boost damage dealt by... 5% per level for this character also gives 1% damage bonus per one more for all other characters. Fire protection, fire wizard emblem. Boost XP gain and gold gain by 5% per level. Raise the temperature, boost critical chance. Mmm, interesting. Boost the area effect. So technically just go for this, right? I mean... Reduce damage taken. Yeah, so, I mean, 
probably could have done this, right? Yeah. I mean, let's just do again and see how it feels. It's probably going to be much better now. I mean, it's not crazy big upgrades, but... Okay. I'm curious how much we can do. Okay, let's do Napalm. It's gonna be huge early on. There's a lot of damage. There we go, look at that. Yeah. This is huge. Fire Shield, Ring of Regeneration, Fire Shield. So just that the, the play is stay within your Napalm area. Upgrade as 60% damage, extend duration time, 20%. Let's try, let's try the fire shield build. Yeah, this is huge early on. Meteor. Okay, let's do... I think I want to try the scroll of haste. And we can like have the the shield spawn more often we can build a <laughs> we can make a standing build possibly okay we can do boomerangs again i think boomerangs were good it knocks enemies back too is nice yeah this already feels better so it's like a numbers game right it makes you play through it a couple of times um, get the upgrades so it's it's a nice switch up all right let's do let's do sort of power actually just have this shield be extra extra good only problem now is yeah the fast enemies are gonna be an issue okay. okay we can upgrade napalm oh there's a oh is that it's not good. Ooh. Got some food, which is good. Okay. Oh, shoot. So the problem with this build is the boomerangs are actually going to shove enemies into me, which is not good. I might be fine still, though. Let's take the ring of regeneration, actually. Start getting some of that HP back. 0 0.3 per second. I guess that's decent. It's not amazing though. Oh boy. Um, put the speed. Had to take some utility here to survive, but uh, I don't know if we'll have enough to survive this. Kill this boss real quick. We have enough. I don't even know if we have enough damage for this. Oh, I definitely don't have enough damage for this. Um. Well, we can try to do an extra fireball and see if we survive. Oh wait, we have an opening. Never mind. Well, it's fun. I can tell you that. Um, I'm glad I checked it out because it's a different take, right? You have the heroes, but you also have like an upgrade tree, which is different. So I'm definitely going to be going back to this. It's still in beta, as you can see. So, you know, give it a go. Um, if you don't like it, you can also always do a refund on Steam. And 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think about this game, if you like this style of games, because there's a lot of them right now. And I will see you all very, very soon. Until the next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.